paints a picture of a Fianna Fáil minister wheeling and dealing in property on the side. The non-disclosure is where the legal problem absolutely arises and um, because you had a situation where he had I think at that stage he said two RAS contracts with Westmeath County Council at a certain point in time and was arguing in the doll that we need to be giving more money to these sort of RAS contracts so he has been personally benefiting from the government's approach to the housing crisis, which is not to build public houses, instead to throw money at private landlords through HAP and RAS tenancies. Yeah, right. People have to be able to see it, that this guy is perf- personally benefiting from the housing crisis, and at least they know that and can judge his actions taking that into account. Um, it is a legal requirement. It's in the Ethics in Public Office Act 1995 that you have to register these things. To take his story... His story is one of a deep in repeated incompetence over years. That's his that's his the best case scenario for him is that he was deeply repeatedly incompetent in terms of not abiding by the ethics legislation and not abiding by the need to uh, register his property with the RTB. But so even taking that as 100% accurate, no element of dishonesty here, even then is, is, is that appropriate for someone like that to be the Minister for Company Regulation? I just, I don't see how he is still a minister today. I don't see how Leo Varadkar has said he's a, he's what, a, he's top class. Mial Martin said it was all just a misunderstanding. The Green Party hasn't commented on it at all. How are they standing over the situation when that is literally the best case defence that he has is that he made a mistake again and again and again year sure. after year? 